Parenting styles in the animal kingdom can be tough by our standards. Take for example the parents that encourage their own offspring to kill one another. It really happens. It's called siblicide. So what are the advantages of murderous parenting strategy? Well, in seabirds like boobies, there's serious parental favouritism. The mother blue-footed booby lays two eggs, but not at the same time. This means that one of her chicks hatches much earlier and so will be fed earlier and grow more quickly than her other chick. In the week before the second egg hatches, that firstborn chick enjoys a period of full access to resources provided by both parents. The parents return from fishing out at sea, bringing fish back to feed this privileged first chick. So that by the time the second chick hatches, there's a significant disparity in size and strength between the weak hatchling and its older, stronger sibling. The much larger first chick will get more food. They grow more quickly and so increasingly tower over that smaller, less privileged chick. The second smaller chick is fed only if there's any food left, if that larger, older chick is full. So as you can imagine, the difference between the two chicks accentuates. Why would the females set this up by laying that second egg so much later? It's because there's such dramatic fluctuations in food in the system where they feed. The El Nino Southern Oscillation System in the Pacific Ocean drives years of food shortage and abundance. In times of food shortage, the older chicks show heightened aggression towards their younger sibling. Presumably the older chicks are still hungry as the parents are not returning with enough food. So they peck at and forcibly remove their younger sibling from the nest. In those years, the larger blue-footed booby chicks are likely to kill the younger siblings. It's at around about three weeks after their younger chick hatches. But in other years, the El Nino Southern Oscillation system in the Pacific Ocean drives years of food abundance. And in these years, when food is plentiful, both chicks might survive. Although the younger, smaller chick will be bullied, it won't be killed by its older sibling. So although sibling rivalry is common in the blue-footed booby, it's not always lethal. But other booby species take sibling rivalry a step further. In the NASCAR boobies, aggression between siblings always leads to death of one of the offspring. The older chick begins to peck their younger sibling as soon as they hatch. This happens whether it's a good year or not. Now we can't blame that older chick. The mother bird is responsible for killing off her younger offspring. Just like the blue-footed booby, the mother lays the eggs with a weak time delay. But this time in these boobies, the mother secretes into her first laid egg more hormones. Now not just any hormones, but more androgens, like testosterone into that first favoured egg. This extra testosterone means this chick will be larger, stronger, but also more aggressive, regardless of whether it's a male or a female. In fact, as soon as the second helpless chick hatches, its much older sibling kills it, and within days of hatching. Now remember, that older chick already had an enormous advantage. It's been feeding for at least a week before its sibling hatched. So this means even if it's a year of plentiful food, the parents will never have two surviving chicks. This is because the older chick kills its sibling before knowing if it, there was enough food that year for both of them to have survived. In fact, if the first chick doesn't kill its smaller sibling, the parents will kill that younger, weaker chick. Why would the parents do this? Well, that extra egg is believed to be for insurance purposes. In case the first egg doesn't hatch or it's taken by a predator, the parent boobies can't manage to feed two chicks. But if they do, there's a steep penalty to their health and this impacts their future reproductive success. Because the parent birds find it detrimental in the long term to raise two chicks, they always wipe out the younger sibling. So this ensures that their older chick stands a better chance of surviving and that they'll have better chance of breeding into the future. So the interactions between the ocean currents and climate patterns driven by the El Nino Southern Oscillation has played a part in this murderous parenting strategy. So there you go, murder and mayhem on the high seas, and they look so innocent. <laughs>